It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from the Castle Brewery, Brewery Van Hunsbroek in Belgium, and it's their Castile Hoppy Belgium Pale Ale at 6.5% ABV, with the words Ingelmunster across the top. Looking forward to this one, 6.5% ABV. Beer, there's the bottle cap. Let's get it out into a glass and see what we get. Okay, beer in the glass then. Pouring out. Classic pale ale look. Wow, look at this. This is a little bit out of the ordinary for me, drinking a Belgian beer that looks so clear and looks like a pale ale or, or a lager if you like. It's a one finger white head with nice carbonation streaming up the middle of the glass. And this bite might be a first for me. A first Belgium clear beer that looks like a pale ale. That looks wonderful. Don't get me wrong, I love them nice cloudy Belgian brews. But it's always nice to try something different. And this is exactly what we got in our hands. Golden in the colour, golden amber. Let's get the aroma. Oh, and it smells... Smells like this brew has styrian goldings. It's got that nice kind of nettly spiciness going on in the aroma. A pinch of lemon. And a really nice big malt base, it seems. Let's dive in. Cheers. You get that Belgium yeast, that, that kind of Belgium mustiness, that almost slightly tongue numbing sensation you get from a Belgian beer. And I'm going to stick with my guns here with, with Styrian Goldings. It's a spiciness on the back end with a kind of a bramble, uh, a, a kind of forest fruit bramble kind of raspberry flavour. I want to see if it's bottle conditioned now, I'm really intrigued. Absolutely not. Not a Belgium uh, bottle conditioned beer at all. Um, it's seen as using Belgium hops. But it, it could very well be a variety of Belgium hops that originated, you know, Styrian Goldings picked up and planted in Belgium, if you like. Or the other way around, they come from the Czech Republic, I believe, Styrian Goldings. So they were kind of picked up from, from the Czech Republic and planted in Belgium and the UK. It's very nice. It's very nice. I like it. But, and here's the but, I don't get why they've felt the need to go with Hoppy on the label. It's, okay, yes, it's got a very traditional kind of nettly, prickly, spicy, Styrian golden hop in it, but and it might be again. Let's talk. Let's talk in the comments box. Let's talk about my experiences with beer. Since I started reviewing beer, there's been a massive change in the way the beer has been brewed. Even I've watched the regionals in the UK. I've watched the smaller breweries all start to bang in New World hops 
into the beer from America, New Zealand, Australia. And they will go with the words hoppy or double IPA or or just a mentally hot beer, which has got loads of grapefruit, mango, citrus, lime, all of them lovely flavours, peach, apricot. And perhaps it's just my generation really of of beer drinking. It's just the generation we're currently living in where we kind of expect we expect things to be so much hoppier than when it's kind of plastered on the label. You kind of expect it and you go for it. But this is very traditional. It's probably in Belgium is probably absolutely kind of fine and and right down their street to to be able to do this and to 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 appreciate it but for me it's lacking i'm finding it disappointing as i said if you gave me if if you took the label off this beer and you gave it to me and I sipped it blind taste test I'd say yeah you know that's not bad it's okay a little traditional a little kind of malty and a little hoppy very traditional but then if you give me as we're, as we're doing here now live or almost live is the word isn't it because i've not edited anything from the video it's just a case of me pouring a video a beer talking to the camera and then the next day it goes onto the internet so you might as well call it live if you like because i'm not i'm standing here talking to you but what i'm trying to say is that let's call it live i've opened this beer with hoppy 6.5 percent it's poured out golden and you almost want to put the, the bottle down and the glass down and rub your hands and go, oh, yeah, a hoppy Belgian beer. But it's not really turned out that way. And uh, it's a bit of a shame. Um, again, let me know your views on this subject. You kind of comment on the comments box because you guys know you've been drinking for, for thousands of years. Sorry. Um, rating then on Castile Hoppy from Castle Brewery, Brewery Van Honsburg or Honsbrook. In a traditional sense, this beer would be fine. It's 6.5%, it hides the ABV wonderfully well. There's a little bit of lemon, there's a little bit of spiciness, there's a little bit of kind of that, what did I say earlier? I hit the nail on the head earlier, didn't I? It's a little bit nettly, very nettly. And decent. But I just, I just, I'll just give you a rating. Six out of ten. 6 out of 10 from Real Craft Beer, put your comments in the comments box. Please subscribe to our daily beer reviews and cheers.